Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings. I pray that all is well and everyone is in the best of health and spirits. It is your sister, Denise Renee Muhammad, your aromatherapist, author, and wellness coach. And I'm coming on this afternoon to share some uh, aromatherapy tips and essential oils that can help you to overcome anxiety and um, just de-stress and relax because with so much going on in the world, there's a lot of fear going on, a lot of anxiety, and we need natural solutions and natural ways to um, overcome that. So I wanted to come on today and share a few, about five essential oils that you can use to help to calm your nerves, <laughs> relax your mind, and relieve that fear and anxiety. All right, so I'll get started in a few. And as you come in, please share the video, share the video. Sharing is caring. Share the video. I pray everyone's day is going well. It's a beautiful, beautiful spring day here in Texas. And we'll get started in just a second. All right. All right. So um, I'm going to share five essential oils that can help you to overcome anxiety, fear, and uh, just relax to help you to get your mind uh, off of the pandemic. <laughs> All right, so um, the first oil I wanna share is lavender essential oil. Lavender is one of the go-to oils when it comes to having peace of mind and clarity. Lavender essential oil has uh, constituents in it that helps you to relax, helps you to have a clear mind, get that mental clarity. Um, it's known as the Swiss army knife of essential oils because it is good for so many things. It is also antibacterial, antimicrobial. So lavender is uh, first on the list when it comes to essential oils uh, used in aromatherapy to help with clearing the mind, and uh, calming the nerve, the central nervous, the, your nervous system, and it helps you to relax and get a good, <clears throat> a good night's sleep as well. If you um, diffuse it or apply it at night before you go to bed. All right. So lavender essential oil is the first one on the list. Calming for a uh, calming uh, and a, a calming essential oil that helps you have a clear mind. All right. The next one is frankincense. Frankincense essential oil is good for your emotional well-being. It helps you um, to uh, relieve tension. It helps to relieve tension and anxiety. Lavender essential oil is one that um, I like to use during, to diffuse during prayer or meditation. It helps you to um, get, uh, feel grounded and opens up your pineal gland. So lavender essential oil, it increases your spiritual, well, your spiritual awareness. So that's another one, uh, a good one to have. Lavender, I mean, frankincense, has been used uh, for years during biblical times for spiritual. Uh, it helps to increase spiritual awareness and it gives you a sense of euphoria when you, when you diffuse frankincense essential oil. All right. Um, the next one is bergamot. Bergamot is a citrus oil. Citrus oils, many citrus oils are known to uh, uplift your spirit. It, it gives you that mental clarity as well. And it's effective against uh, 
depression, anxiety, and stress, and it uplifts your spirit. And that's one thing I love about the essential oils in using aromatherapy is that it uh, it's benef- has health benefits for your body, your mind, and your spirit. So it's a holistic approach to wellness. And our mental wellness is so important. Our mental well- wellness, everything starts in the mind. So these essential oils help you to have that clarity and that peace of mind. Peace, beloved. Thank you for tuning in, Sister Copper Cat. Thank you for joining. Um, so that's bergamot and citrus oils also help to boost the immune system. Most of the citrus oils help to boost the immune system, especially lemon essential oil. It stimulates the production of your white blood cells. So that's another one. Um, to have on hand for immunity as well. All right. And the fourth one that I want to share is cedarwood essential oil. It's a calming essential oil that helps you to wind down at night. I like to diffuse that at night uh, with along with lavender. And you talking about getting some good restorative sleep. Oh my goodness. Cedarwood is a natural sedative It also stimulates your pineal gland, which is your third eye, and it helps you your it helps to stimulate the production of melatonin, which is our sleep hormone that helps us to get a good night's sleep. And sleep is so vital to our healing, our health and well-being. We need sleep just like we need proper nutrition and exercise. Sleep is crucial to healing. And it's best to try to be in bed by 10 10 p.m. because that's the time that our melatonin naturally kicks in. But if you are a night owl like myself, uh, you might need a little help with that. And cedarwood will definitely help you to get a good night's sleep. And once you start using it, um, it'll naturally reset your your sleep rhythm, your sleep pattern. So you'll naturally want to be in bed, you know, by that certain time, by 10 o'clock, you'll start to naturally, your body's sleep pattern will naturally reset. So that's a good, another good thing about cedarwood. And cedarwood is also supports the respiratory system and our immune system as well. And we know we definitely need those functions uh, uh, at this time. All right. And last but not least is vetiver essential oil. Vetiver essential oil. It's a a vetiver actually is a grass that's uh, native to India. It has uh, tall stems. They look kind of like, it reminds me of green onions, the way they look. But vetiver is actually a a great essential oil to relieve anxiety um, from different studies that have been uh, proven that vetiver helps with relieve anxiety as well. Um, And it's great for children that have been diagnosed or say they have ADHD. It's good to help with that focus. It helps to calm them down. It helps to... um, sedate the nervous system to calm the nervous system so you're not so they're not so antsy and anxious so vetiver definitely is a great one uh, to use for children that have been diagnosed with attention deficit deficit disorder or hyperactivity so vetiver is good for that so i just want to come on and just share these uh aromatherapy tips with you on how we can naturally um, you incorporate these essential oils and the way you use them, they can be applied to the soles of your feet mixed with the carrier oil such as fractionated coconut oil or sweet almond oil. You can put a couple of drops in your hand and rub it on the soles of your feet or massage your feet. They can also be applied to behind the neck and on your pulse points. Um, You can also put it in a diffuser. As you see my diffuser in the background, you can put them in a diffuser and diffuse the essential oils 
They can also be applied in a roller blend. This is a roller blend. And what I'm offering um, to also help us with create our mental wellness, my book, my new book, Writing, Your, Writing My Life, Creating My Mental Wellness, I'm creating a mental wellness pack. Well, you're get, you'll get my book and this roller blend together. The roller blend, it will help to revitalize your mind, just help you to relax, um, relieve that stress and anxiety. This is a blend of essential oils that are calming and that are revitalizing to the mind, and it will help you in the way you use the roller blend. You just take the top off, apply it to your pulse points, rub it together. You can apply it to the back of the neck rub it on the temples and this is an easy and convenient way to take your aromatherapy with you so you apply you can apply it to the pulse your temples the back of the neck pulse points around here behind your ears <laughs> and you can just put it in your pocket or your purse and carry it with you when you have those moments that you're feeling stressed uh, um, anxiety or fear, just apply this and then inhale, rub it in the palm of your hands and inhale, however you want to use it, that will help you. So my mental wellness pack will come with my book and a roller blend. So if you're interested and you want to purchase this, contact me, uh, inbox me, and I'll be more than happy to um, get that for you. So with that being said, I pray that everyone enjoys the rest of your day. And remember to take care of your mental health. Everything starts up here. You know, so everything starts in the mind. So we definitely have to nourish our mind, our body, and our spirit. All right, you all take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace and blessings to you.